Ted grew up in a church, like I said before, uh, one of the peace churches, Church of the Brethren. Not only was the church influential to him, but he genuinely came to that conclusion that, you know what, I need to serve people. Ted was in Vietnam working as an agriculturalist in church world, as in church world service. It was in partial fulfillment for his uh, conscientious objection stance with our military draft. He went over there with some experience. We came from a 140 acre farm in southern Ohio. So he had a lot of farming experience and uh, so he took those skills over with him. He didn't have a problem going to war but he wanted to uh, be a peace worker. When he was 18 years of old all individuals declare where they stand with the draft and uh, he wrote a letter to his draft board and he says, I realize that 90% uh, of the people my age will go into the military. And he accepted that. But he said, my journey is different. I think Ted was very driven. Uh, he finished his, his uh, undergraduate work in three years. So he was, he was a hard worker. He <clears throat> uh, got the most out of his classes as he could. Here was a man who went to Manchester College. He was a sociology and psychology major. He studied people like uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. He studied Martin Luther King. He was genuinely interested in these martyrs, in these peacemakers. Then he went to Florida State, got his uh, social work degree. Ted was very people-oriented. He was ready to take a look at life, see what needed to be done, and do something about it. He was setting out to do what he felt this world needed. Somebody who was willing to be a, a, a worker to bring people together. If it wouldn't be with agriculture, which it was with him in Vietnam, it was with his guitar, bringing people together with his guitar. He knew that uh, how uh, awful and how much killing was going on in Vietnam, but yet, he also knew that he needed to take a stand. Ted was not gonna be silent. Before he went to Vietnam, he asked some very probing questions. Can I really make a difference there? I mean, or am I just gonna be another American in the midst of all this turmoil? I think he hadn't found all those answers, but enough that he went. I had a discussion with Ted uh, when shortly after I think he finished at Manchester College and he, he very clearly said that he wanted to serve other people. That was, that was prominent in his thinking and his expression. And I remember he, uh, he, he felt that he needed to further his education and then just get out and participate and get involved uh, in a longer uh, journey. He knew that I had uh, had experience uh, in overseas uh, volunteer work and uh, likewise Gary, but he asked a lot about that. One of the things in a, in a uh, letter he said to me that stuck with me, he said, you know, I think I've learned uh, in my short time that you must stand for something or you'll fall for anything. Our mother always uh, said that Ted was a serious thinker even at a very early age. He was fun-loving, but he considered a lot of things, I think, earlier in life than most people do. Um, and therefore, his life was different than most people's. It was a matter of conscience, and he followed that conscience.